She's much more private and calculating when she is going to say something. Me, I'm more of uh, thinking out loud. I think out loud a lot and here's what's going through my, my head. And most of the ideas are pretty harebrained, but she, <laughs> she knows that's the case. <laughs> When Colleen and I really first got together, we got married, and some of my uh, career opportunities that came up, that it was going, and we're going to create this life. And it was really a life that I was trying to buy. Because when, it, when this started happening, you know, I was, I was so self-absorbed at that time, where it was, this is how it's affecting my life. There wasn't that compassion there for me that I, I should have been there for, for Colleen. Um, and I can't tell you when it happened, but there was at, at a point um, where it went from going out occasionally and, and, and having a few drinks, uh, then it became a habit, then it turned into an obsession. So as my alcoholism was starting to progress, her condition was starting to progress, and I was trying to figure it out. How, you know, how is this going to happen and the million questions that come with it. I wasn't going to take my own life, but if I happened to die, I, it really didn't matter to me anymore. Um, I thought that little of myself at the time. So she learned on how to live uh, with her condition, uh, largely on her own. And it's easy to see uh, today the type of person that I am and the type of person that, that I was. The more that I, that I, I started helping Colleen, and I was introduced to other volunteer opportunities through, through this path. There's a true satisfaction in helping, in helping others, in helping Colleen, in helping others that's deep and it's very, it's very difficult to explain unless you've been there, unless you've done it. Her condition is a spinal cerebellar ataxia. She has lost the ability to walk, she's lost the ability to speak. Uh, fortunately, the function of her, of her mind, um, she is fully capable, she is fully there. It's, uh, she hasn't lost any mental capacity from it. There is not a day that I can recall not seeing her smile. She smiles every single day. And despite of what it is, and it's at that, it's like, what am I worried about? Look at what, you know, look at what she's going through. And she is, um, and she's very, she's very proud of that fact. We identify through going out in the public, through running, that this, it strikes a chord with, with people. Not only that here's what life is, but to be able to do it and be joyous about it. And so what happened is in early August, the, we got a letter from a realtor and, and asked us if we'd be willing to sell. And so that was when I posed the, the question to, to Colleen, kind of half joking, why don't we just sell the house and buy an RV and travel? And, and she gave me kind of a, a smile. She gave me a smile kind of similar to that, which sometimes means that this is a harebrained idea. But a couple days later, she sent me text messages of handicap accessible RV units. Then we started talking about it and that's when she started getting excited about it. And from there, it's like that was the answer. We want to share through our experience to show people that it is possible to live a joyous life despite our circumstances. So through this video is that you're going through, there's times where, there's, there's days now where I'm like, can't do this. This, this isn't gonna, Colleen can attest to it. I've, I've had in the last three months since we've done this and we've been going through selling the house and clearing out the house and all of this and I'm just like, it's not worth it. This is, you know what, it, and it was, when emotions cool down, yes you can. And you hit a lot of things. I mean, our, our life isn't day to day. There's some days that are really tough. It's not just, um, you know, uh, sunshine and rainbows, you know. <laughs> You still go through those tough times that, you know what, you, you're not born strong, you get strong. Colleen may be living right here today. My tendency is to look 
okay, we're going to get in Arizona, and then what are we going to do here, here, here? But it's really in today. And, you know, as uh, things progress and Conley needs more attention, how, how are we going to do it? We, we don't know. But we can. Um, there hasn't been one part where we've taken this and said, you know, we're making a mistake. We shouldn't do this. That, that hasn't come up. Um, but it's, it's really the unknowns and how do you adapt to the unknowns. We know it's going to be, to be fine because our attitudes are, are right. And where we are, what we do, really doesn't matter. As long as we are together, uh, you know, life is going to happen. If someone else is going through a negative circumstance in life, what words of advice would you give them? Her response is, life may be hard right now, it is okay to be sad, but not a grump. Only you can choose your emotion. Choose happy. Life may not be better or worse, just different. <laughs> we are approaching this new way of life with acceptance and open-mindedness. We welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and take this journey with us. To learn more about us and our story, please check out our blog at livingonlifesterms.com.